Hey, what to do, baby? That was easy. What up, Joe Crew? It's me, Joe Koo, and I'm here. That was easy. Baby! This one goes out to Vegeta San Army. Frank Castle, if you're watching this, I love you. Tutorial on how to play Virginia! This one goes out to Vegeta San Army. If you're watching this, Frank Castle, this one's for you. Baby! That was easy. All right, so I uh, I was surfing the web, you know, I was thinking I was thinking about what deck tutorial I should do next. So I went on DBS Deck Planet and I saw a deck profile by Frank Castle on Starter Vegeta. So I slapped the deck together. I got it right here. I'm gonna do a little playthrough of the deck and show you guys how I think it works. I've never played this list before, but if it's Frank's list, it's probably a really good list. So I'm gonna run it. All right, let's get in here. So uh, we're gonna do, of course, the John Carlos special. I got a couple extra things here uh, on the mat today to make it a little bit more exciting since I'm just playing against myself. You know, I got a couple buttons here. When I uh, bust out a bomb, I can... I got a couple more sound effects to make it a little bit more entertaining when the good cards come out. So we're just doing this, uh, the John Carlos special shuffle here as always, which I'll do forever now for the rest of my life, probably. Uh, I think this list is 50 cards and there's certain cards that you want to have. So like the turn one ideal play, what you really want to have is, uh, the turn one play, what you really want to have is the one drop Gohan. If you can see the one hot drop Gohan, um, it's going to help you search your unison. And if you don't already have your unison, but you really want to have the unison on turn two, because this guy can awaken on turn two and just get two energy back, which is really great. And even if you end up doing it on turn three, that's fine. Also, depending on what you're playing against, there are more ideal plays, but I'm pretty sure I know what the cards in here do. So we're going to give it a run and see how it works. Vagina. I I, uh, I made a Vagina less list myself once upon a time. Um, but as always, we're going to start with rolling some dice. I'm going to roll for Virginia myself. And I get a 7 and my opponent gets a 10. So we're going to be going second. So first things first, we got to grab our hand. We got six cards there. And let's see what we open with. Beautiful. We definitely want that in our opening hand. Uh, a lot of super combos, don't really need to keep those. I think we can pretty much send everything back, but I'm gonna keep a second Gohan in case I don't see a unison off the first Gohan search. Maybe on turn two, I'll see one off the other search, and then we can get our three energy back, uh, or two energy back on turn three and have a five energy play, which would be wonderful. The four energy play isn't necessarily always what you need, especially because of cards like Divine Presence that are in here. So we'll go into that. Uh, shout out to Eddie. Eddie, if you're watching this, thanks for the recommendation. I am gonna talk a little bit more about ideal turn plays. And really this guy is the ideal turn one. You really want him on board. You see, uh, this is, oh wait, actually, sorry. That's too many. Um, excellent hand, really, really good hand here. So we'll get our life set. I like to do four and four here as always. And we're going second, so they're gonna go first, charge, pass, whatever, and then we draw for our turn. And since we have a unison, we're not gonna need two of these. One is fine, and it's he's limit one for the draw. Basically, when he's in your battle area, when you combo a skillless, you get to draw a card, so it really helps refuel your hand and get your combo area set up for the cards that play off of having multiple cards in your combo area. But this card is gorgeous. This is such a good looking, beautiful, shiny piece of cardboard. So we're gonna benefit from having it in our energy area. First thing we're gonna do, I just like to swing before I play a card because if I play a card then swing, they may have something that either minuses something or punishes me for having that card. So I'm just gonna attack my leader to their leader. I will draw a card and I'll probably deal 10 damage there. Pay one energy and play Sun Gohan, Ultimate Essence. He searches up to five, so you can look one at a time. One, two, three, four, five. And this is probably gonna be our best grab off of that. That card is really, really good. If we're playing against blue, then grabbing the uh, Frieza is, uh, the Frieza is really good because it really punishes your opponent for countering. Um, so that's pretty much gonna be our grab. 
And then at that point, we can just pass. So it's gonna be their turn. They'll probably swing in at us and we'll take a damage. Um, maybe they'll have played another thing. So let's set, wait, I set too many life, whoops. Um, maybe we'll take two damage from that. So we'll take our second damage there. That's fine. It doesn't matter because when Vegito awakens, he goes down to five anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so we're gonna put that there, restand everything, our turn starts, draw for turn, and we got the Frieza. Um, I'm going to charge this android. Maybe that's the wrong choice, but who cares? Uh, once per turn, when you actually, if you leave a... Oh, actually, this is really good. We're gonna charge a skillless. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this Piccolo. So we have this pupil, master and pupil in the... Uh, energy area um and now we can play a uh, unison i really like uh awakening on turn three if possible so if we awaken on turn three then we'll have a five energy play versus having a four energy play on turn two and you can use two of those energy to play Son goku divine presence so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play my unison and not awaken so I'm gonna pay two energy for the unison and you wanna get this unison out before you play anything because if you play this unison right away, then if they counter, you can kill something 15K or less. So I'm gonna go ahead and plus one on the unison and I will draw a card for that. And then I'm gonna swing with my leader. Awakening here might be the right play, but we'll see what happens. Uh, swing the leader, draw for the swing, and the leader also gains 5k when he swings. Um, so that's going to be 15k at them, and uh, they may take it, they may not, but we will swing here with uh, Piccolo, and they may take it, they may not. But um, Sun Goku Divine Presence requires you to have three or more energy, so we can't play him till next turn. That's that. Um, they're going to pass to us uh maybe they'll they'll probably want to kill our unison so maybe they'll hit our unison down to one or something like that and then we'll begin our turn so draw for turn uh untap our energy we don't need another one of these right now maybe we'll regret this but tbd actually yeah that's probably that nah i'll charge it heck okay so we charge that there so the first thing we're gonna do is plus on our unison because if you plus on your unison after you give your unison double strike from awakening, it will lose the double strike when you manipulate the markers on it. So now that we have our unison in play, we wanna use some energy for something. So the first thing that I would do is I'm gonna try and establish one divine presence first. So I'm gonna swing with Gohan. And when I swing with Gohan, that's gonna allow me to uh, combo. I'll combo this Goku. And when I combo with a skillless off Gohan, I draw a card. And then I can combo with this Android 17. And when I combo with this Android 17, it says if your leader's mono red universe seven and you only have this card and one red skillless battle card in your combo area when this card is used in combo, draw a card. So you get to draw off of him as well. And now that we have two red cards in our combo area, we can pay two energy play Son Goku, Dawn of Divinity, and that's during our combo step. Now we can awaken, since we have a unifin since specified cost of two in play, we can awaken our leader, untap two energy, and take our life down to five. I believe it is that right? Yeah, at five. And then if this was a Kaba, it would gain a marker as well, but it's not, so that's fine. All right, so that Goku is played, and now, since we have two energy open again, when this Goku gets played, he's gonna get a buff. So he's gonna get a 5K boost. You can give it to himself. You can give it to any card, but we're gonna give it to this one. And since we have more energy now, we're gonna play another Goku. And we're gonna give the boost to the same Goku. So we'll give this one a 10K boost. Um, at this point, this is gonna be 14K swing. They may take it, they may not, but we played two Goku, so we got a... That's for those two Gokus. And then for the power boosts. All right, so these are gonna go to our drop area. Um, next, really, depending on what color we're playing against and what 
colors they have on their board and stuff. That's gonna determine what order we swing in. But we're gonna attack with our leader. And when we attack with our leader, we draw a card and we give one of our red unisons uh, plus uh, double strike. So this becomes a 15K double strike, which is very strong. Um, and they're gonna have to deal with that swing. And then we swing double strike. And then when we swing with the Gokus, first we can swing with this one. It's gonna gain 5K, so it's gonna go to 25. And we get to search our deck for a red skillless. So I'm gonna grab one of these Gokus and then shuffle our deck. That's gonna be a 125K single strike. And then we can swing again since he has dual attack. He doesn't search and gain power this time. It's only once per turn but that's gonna be another 25K swing and they're gonna to have to deal with that. And then we're gonna swing with this guy. He's gonna gain 5K also. So now this is gonna be a 35K swing. We get to go in our deck and look for a skillless. I'll grab a piccolo this time and they're gonna to have to deal with that 35K swing and then he's gonna stand up and another 35K swing. So just in that turn, we just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven if you count the double strike eight that's a lot of damage this man can lay down some serious heat frank castle respect on the list dude this is a spicy all right so we got that going next we're gonna look at our hands see what we got going on we got some good defense we got a testing the opposition to protect our unison um and we have a yamcha counterplay to deal with something they play so we're gonna pass turn here they're gonna start their turn. Say they play a battle card. When they play the battle card, we can play Yamcha Merciless Barrage. Since we have a unison with two or more markers, we can play him for free and minus 15K, two things on their board. A little thing about this card is if an opponent is playing a card off a of skill, you wanna play this card in counter window two so that you will hit the card when it comes onto the board and you can hit another target that's already on the board. Now they're probably gonna swing at our unison and we wanna protect our unison. So the first thing we're gonna do is negate with testing the opposition, uh, take a life and make a blocker token for the turn. So we make a blocker token right here. And then if they swing again, we can block with the blocker token. And if they choose to swing at our unison another time, Vegeta actually has a uh, spirit boost skill where you can minus one uh, your unison by spirit boosting it by one and give your unison plus 6K for the duration of the turn. So it makes your unison at 21K, which is a lot more to combo over. And it's very annoying for your opponent to get around that. Um, at that point, your opponent's probably exhausted most of their resources. They'll probably try and kill this guy. Um, so we'll say, I actually forgot to, Oh no, I did draw off that. Um, so we'll say that he's dead, even though he gains us a lot of advantage, but that's okay, he can die. Um, and then maybe they like have a, so we're gonna get rid of one of our, one of these guys. We'll say they hit the Goku and the Gohan off of a secret identity or something like that. Um, they're probably gonna pass turn to us here. We'll draw for our turn and then Get ready to go in. By this time, uh, usually like most decks, most red decks turn four, turn five, you wanna kill. Sometimes you can turn three if you can. Uh, but we have a number of these Android 18. So we'll charge one of these. And first and foremost, we will plus on our unison to draw. Make our hand size a little bit bigger. Oh, wow. I think he needs a unison with three markers on it. Yeah, three or more markers, so we can't play him for free. But say they didn't hit our unison, or say we were actually good at this game, and we had charged this card instead of this card on the last turn. What we could do here is we can uh, put this unison under this unison and put this to three. When this is at three, this now allows us to play King Piccolo and New Ruler, which is a 20K double strike. But we're not gonna do that till later because we don't wanna reveal that until we have to. So the first thing we're gonna do is swing with our leader. When we swing with our leader, we're gonna give our uh, unison double strike and draw a card. And then um, that's gonna be 15. They're gonna have to deal with that. And then we can swing with our unison at them to be, make it 15K double strike and maybe just to add a little bit more pressure we'll do a super combo on how many cards we have in drop here. We have one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be our sixth, uh, allows us to draw. The super combo is actually also really good because it allows us to draw when we're at five or less, even though we're at four here. And then we'll do a, let's say, 
we'll just combo off uh, Piccolo. And since we have two cards in our battle area, we can pay one energy and play Surprise Attack Gohan, minus something by 10k. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. And then these will go to our drop area. Um, now we can swing with Divine Presence. When we swing with Divine Presence, same thing's gonna happen. He's gonna gain 5k. We're gonna get to look through our deck for a skill list. Just take a quick peek, see what we got left in here. So we'll grab this skill list, shuffle our deck up, and he's gonna gain 5k. So that's gonna be a 25k swing. And then he will stand back up for his next attack and he'll attack again. And then we get a 20k attack here. And then a little cheeky thing we can do since we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in our drop is perfect. We can pay two energy for Path to Power. I love this tech. Uh, Sun Goku Path to Power. He's a 25k double strike. And when this card attacks, play up to one skillless card with an energy cost of two or less from your drop area, and it gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. And you can pay him for play him for two energy if your leader card is a sand card, which it is, and your opponent has two or more energy, and you have two or more skillless battle cards in your drop area, play this card from your hand. And we have exactly two skillless battle cards in our drop area. So we can play him, we can attack with him, he's a 25k double strike, and when he attacks, he plays a skillless and gives it 5k. So that's gonna be a 25k single strike, or double strike, and then we have a 25k single strike, and then we can over realm six to warp our drop area and play uh, SS4 Bardock fighting against fate and then we get two 25k swings with this and if that wasn't enough we can play King Piccolo for free the new ruler swing for 20k double strike and if that wasn't enough then we can pay one energy and play Sankaba swing with Sankaba take the life go to 15k double strike and then just combo this combo this and draw off its skill uh, super combo draw another card so now that's a 15, 25, 35 double strike. And let's say they just somehow survived it, right? Because it's because they're because they're nasty at this game. So these cards are gonna go to our warp at the end of the turn. And then they're gonna attack us with their leader, and then we're gonna negate with Pan. And when we negate with Pan, they can't attack with battle cards for the duration of the turn. So maybe they swing with their boo unison. That was easy. And deal two damage for us, but they can't attack with battle cards anymore, and we're living life on the ledge, so it's our turn for the next turn. Draw a card. We're going to choose something here and put it in our energy area. All this stuff stands up. Our whole board stands up. So much power. So much power. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to charge something here. So let's charge. Jada! Thank you. We're gonna charge this, uh, let's get this this surprise attack Gohan in here. Charge that, uh, plus on our unison to draw a card. Oh, we got another one. All right, so then we'll go ahead and swing with our leader, give our unison double strike and draw. And we can uh, just leave it at 15. And then we can play this beautiful looking Gohan for one, search top five, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll grab this Sun Goku dot divine presence to our hand and then shuffle our deck here. And then we can attack with our unison for a 15K double strike. And when we swing with our unison, we can combo a skill list, which will, and this will allow us to draw a card from the skill list. And then we can combo Android 18. And when there's a skill list in our battle area, we this gets an extra 5,000. Um, actually, before we do that, sorry. Let's combo this guy. He lets us draw a card since there's just one skill list in our combo area. Then we can combo this. This gets an extra 5,000. And then no more super combos. Can't get greedier. So this is going to be a... Uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, plus an extra five is 35 double strike, which is hard to deal with. And then after that, um, we can uh, swing with Goku, which is gonna be at 25, he gains a five. We get to look through for a skillless battle card. Deck's getting pretty thin here. We'll grab that skillless, add it to our hand. And then he's gonna stand up and get another swing. And when he swings, 
we can combo, uh, let's say we combo this and we combo uh, this and then we can pay two energy and play another divine presence. Um, so that's gonna be a 35, whatever. And then we can swing with Pan for 40K. Just to be cheeky, we can give it double strike if that hasn't been enough double strikes for them. 50K double strike, let's say they combo out of that. And then we steal their boss monster with Pan. You can get rid of, uh, Activate main one energy, remove this card from the game, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and gain control of it. So, you know, they left that big blocker in play, so we just steal their big blocker, swing with that. Swing with uh, Path to Power. When Path to Power swings, he plays a skill list from the drop area. And then we can swing with this Goku. When we swing at that Goku, he gains 5K, and we grab a skill list from our deck. And then we swing again, and then we combo this. And somehow they lived through all of this stuff, obviously, because they're just so good at this game. And we combo this swing like really big and and whatever somehow they lived out of it and we're like how do they live so we're gonna overwhelm and play fighting against fate swing twice with fighting against fate they still lived somehow swing with gohan how are they still alive swing with yamcha how are they still alive so then we can swing with kaba uh auto take our life and that was easy anyway that last turn was a little bit of a meme joke i don't know if you could tell um this deck is really really strong frank castle your deck design is genius this was really fun to play thank you um shout out to vegeta san army if you guys aren't in the facebook group already go over there and check it out but i hope you get a little idea of how to play vegeta how strong it could be and i'm sure i didn't even play this deck optimally because I don't know the deck that well, but I think that Vegeta is really strong. I think the leader is slept on. It's really good with the Bardox crew package as well. Maybe I'll do a video on that eventually, showcasing uh, how that works. Um, the deck can really pop off really fast. And it's cool because Red has some more control elements, especially if you use stuff like King Vegeta's Imposing Presence to kind of uh, floodgate your opponents a little bit and slow their turn down. Anyway, that was the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So, Joyce, do you have any questions about dentistry? Do you have any ideas for a good dental tooth tip? If you wear retainers at night, it's a good idea to clean them because they can get nasty. So when you wear that tray and you take it out, you should be brushing it at night and you should be brushing it in the morning. And what I recommend to do is you get your power toothbrush and when we're ready to get rid of one of the heads on your power toothbrush, you keep that one just to clean your aligners because the bristles on the head will get messed up from brushing the retainers. So you don't want to use that one on the one that you use for your teeth because it won't be as effective on your teeth. But when you're done with one of those heads, you keep it, you stick it on your brush, and you just use it on ret your retainers. And that's how you keep your aligners clean, to keep your teeth straight for the rest of your life. I am Goku DMD, and I'll see you next time. Shout out to Frank Castle. Yo. How are you? I'm making a video right now. It's dedicated to you. It's dedicated. It's, 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 it's dedicated to you. What's up? It's dedicated to you. Yes. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm actually recording right now. Do you have anything you want to say yes. to, to Vegeta San Army? Because they're listening. Oh, absolutely. Let me see more videos. What's it about? All right. So, you know, I've been doing these. <laughs> you know, I've been doing these uh, deck playthroughs. I've been like looking up decks and just like playing through the deck. So I went on okay. uh, DBS Deck Planet this morning, and whose deck list did I find on DBS Deck Planet? Oh yeah, yeah, mine. There's yeah. Little, yeah. So I, sla I slapped it together. I slapped it together and did yeah. a little playthrough. And you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. So I'm gonna post Thanks, this. Buddy. I'm gonna post at the end of the video to give a little treat oh, to yeah. people who want to see it because I love Frank <laughs> Castle and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to say it. I love this man. Listen, so, like, first of all, congrats to Travis Washburn. Because he's the one, he's oh. the 33rd in Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. So happy, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. He well, he was playing the Bardock's crew list. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, pretty yeah, nasty, yeah. man. It's pretty well, nasty. Well, cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I might I might do one of that one also. Right. No, yeah, and it's weird. Like, it's not like one list is better than, well, his is better because 
there's yeah. Like there's the red green also, Dude, there's so the many green. ways. I, the, the leader is so versatile, and I feel like it's about to get way more versatile with the next set because red's for sure getting U7 support. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I don't know if you guys or anyone is watching the reveals. We only have the red Goku leader that was revealed. So obviously, that means that we're getting some U7 or some sort of U7. So I'm saying, support. that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, I hope it is. But I, I feel like it's going to be strong. I think red yeah. red red deserves yeah, its spot sure. in the sun again. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, thank you for calling thinking of me. That's oh, of course, man. Like, um, like do you, do you have? Like it, so. It's dude. It's insane. The deck's insane, dude. It draw it draws so much. I drew through almost the entire deck by turn five. I mean, you know, I don't have an opponent swinging against me, so I'm not like discarding cards to defend. Yeah. But like the deck snapped, man. Like you can just like draw like a ton of skillless cards. It's wild. It's totally wild. Uh, can I be honest with you? Can I can I tell you what I was just doing? And you're not gonna believe me, but it's fine. But what? I was just watching your video. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I was just watching your video. You made a video about uh, a playthrough with Icarus. Yeah. And uh, cause I'm 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 playing Icarus. I, I've been playing Icarus recently. Nice. I've been playing Iki. I've been playing Iki. How do you like so, it? Uh, he's yeah, I was he's. Video and I get a call from you. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It was relevant. Like you just gotta, you just gotta set up and know you need those skillless in the drop. And if you do it the right way, and like you get seven in there, and then yeah. you can fighting against fate on the same turn, man, it was nasty. That that's crazy. But yeah, but yeah, Icarus is wild. Are you playing mono yellow? Yes, I, I think, think that's the way. I think mono yellow is the way. Also, have you sided sand scions? I've not made this. Do oh, you main sand scions? Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm thinking of taking him out because I like Mickey Kabora uses him. Yeah. Um, as much as Trunks, I think Trunks is really good. Dude, Mickey Kabora is so uh, gross. Mickey Kabora is like, so gross. So gross. I think, like, I know people say Blue Magic is the best uh, unison on the game, and I don't argue that. But people forget about Mechie Kabor. Yeah, people like, sleep Mechie on Mechie, Kabor's for sure. Dude, Mechie's, yeah. Mechie's so nasty. I mean, the um, <clears throat> one thing I did in Nats, actually, um, Danny Wynn played Mechie yeah. on me. And there was like, if Mechie stuck, I was going to die the next turn, for sure. But I was able to establish yeah. Kefla. And then with the Kefla effect, I tapped the Mechie. And if you can if you can get Mechie to oh, if you yeah. can get Mechie to take a nap, then like that all that protection is gone. Because if you if you don't, then they like they tap your multicolor or they tap your leader or like you can just tap anything. Yes. That's like it's so nuts. That's such a right. busted effect. Oh, that's interesting. Um, but Did yeah, you have it with Kel or no? Or Kefla? No, no, no. I played Kefla, and then when you discard oh, a Kefla off of Kefla, you get to choose one of your opponent's cards and rest it. So I just rested you know, the Mechie know. off the Kef Kefla effect. Yeah, right. And then once I did that, then I was like, you know, free and clear to go in. But yeah. Mechie's nasty, man. Card's really yeah. good, really good. Especially in uh, especially in Yellow Frieza, Set 1 Frieza. Because when you play him yeah. in Set 1 Frieza, you're untapping off of the Frieza effect. So you're essentially playing him for yes. 2 energy, which is wild. Yeah, and, striker, yeah. yeah, and if you can awaken on turn 4, like if you can wait to awaken on turn 4 and play Mechie on turn 4... You use your unawakened effect to untap one, awaken, and then untap two more, and you're at three mana open with a mechie on board. It's like, it's busting, man. There's, there's some degenerate stuff you can do. But I just, I love Kefla too much, dude. And Kefla fits so well in Soul Striker. Yeah, the deck's insane. Sure. Did you watch my deck profile for the, uh, Ke my Nats list? I watched all your videos, bitch. Oh, thank <laughs> Okay. You do Gogeta, right? Gogeta's Gogeta Gogeta. the man. Gogeta, Captain Insano's the yeah, man. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I'll switch because I've been playing Raditz into Boo. You got to play Gogeta. Gogeta. Dude, sure. Gogeta, like, okay, here's the thing about Gogeta. You read him and you're like, okay, this card's pretty good, right? But, like, he just dies, right? And then, you're, then your counterplay is not online. Yeah. Like, he's just not that good. But, like, once you play him, you're like, yo. Like, the thing about Soul Striker is, yeah. like, it waits until turn four or turn five to go in, right? Turn four or turn five, like right. you can do some serious stuff. But with Captain yeah. Insano on turn three, get your energy back. It, you can play a Tapion, you can play Calamity Challenger, like you can do so much damage on turn three and people are not ready for that. They're ready for Kefla. They'll yeah. think about Kefla and they'll have an out to Kefla, 
but dealing with two other battle cards plus two 20k swings like that's a that's a lot man and you can just bounce stuff and if they're stupid enough to play like a uh like try and kai you to like stop your unison swings you just bounce the kai and like the other thing is like people always forget about his second his permanent people always hey, forget about you know about <laughs> so you play calamity challenger and you just like swing with calamity challenger and they're like why are you swinging with a blocker and you just leave it and just sit there and be like don't yeah <laughs> don't worry about it forget about it <laughs> I I had one, but Miguel made a really good point about it. He was like, you know, yeah. it's a really situational tech, and it may save you a game, yeah. and it may get you something. But like, uh, nine out of ten games, Calamity Challenger is going to put in more work. And like, if yeah. they're dumb yeah. enough, yeah. if they're dumb enough to let your Gogeta stick, then Calamity Challenger yeah. is going to do the job that the Reaper does. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Well, you're right. So I totally, you're right. I totally right. buy that. I, I want to keep talking to you, but I want you to give a message to the viewers. Um, if, yeah. It's something you have to say to Vegeta San Army because they got to be listening. So I'm putting you on blast. Hey guys, love you guys. If you're watching a video, uh, trust uh, Joku. He's good with the deck. He's good with the. Uh, he, uh, it's a red deck. It's aggro. Try to kill. If you're going against yellow, if you're going against blue, try to kill him before turn, uh, turn three. Because turn three, that's me. Uh, try to main board uh, Crown Retribution if you can. I don't know if I can oh. have two in a main, but oh, that's, yeah. that's importantly have fun with the deck. Yeah, that's yeah. right. When you play for fun, you've already won. Frank Castle, MVP. I'm going to drop a link to Vegeta San Army in, in the description. Make sure to go over there. Uh, drop him a like. Join the Facebook group and follow this man to the ends of the earth because he is the, he's the most powerful for leader sure. that we have in this community. Listen to me. Trust me. Believe me. Believe everything I say. I'll see you guys next time. All right, we can keep talking now. I'm going to just cut that video there. So what's good, man? How you been? Say what?